welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I will also show you how to make uh, the cavity and and the core from uh, from apart. Now, first, you have to uh, be sure that you have the mold tools in your command manager. You can right click up here and check if if it's in. And so, go to mold tools. Now, select parting line like this. Check the the face uh, that you need to be the direction of pull. And click draft analysis like this. It says the parting line is complete, but we need to create shut off surfaces, so we will do that. Click OK. Now go to shut off surfaces. You can see we need at least three. It checks two of them by itself, so we have to to choose the last one manual. Now just click inside here where you want the shut off surface to be, like this. Oops, like this and this and this, and then it turns green. It says it's several into core and cavity. Click OK. Now we need to make the parting surfaces. So click parting surfaces, and I just say we let's make a big one. We can make it let's say thirty like this. Click OK. Now click the tooling split, and click on this face. Now check the the center center right angle, for example, and sketch. A right angle that you want to be your cavity. You can right click and fully define the sketch like this and click OK. Then it's good. Now just exit the sketch and it comes up with this and it's look good to me. And click OK. Like this. Now we can hide this one. Then um, we can make some some core pins. We can choose wireframe. Now choose core and choose this surface. Then we can sketch a circle here like this. Oops, let's try again. Snap to the center like this. And I want to make these this one a little bigger, let's say with a radius of 4, like this. And this one with a radius of 4 also. Click OK to this. Now right click and fully define sketch, like so. Now exit the sketch, and we can see it initiates the, the core feature. Then just pull down, like this then it stops where it needs to. That's perfect. So we we'll click OK. Now we need a side core to make this one. So click core again. Click on this surface. I choose the corner right angle for this. I snap to the parting line like this. Then give it some dimensions. I will give this one 15, 30 all in all, like this, and 8 in the height, like this. Now it's fully defined, so that's good. Just exit the sketch again. And that's good. No, like this. Now it's good. Click OK. So now we have our cavities and some core pins and our side core. And that's good. We can try to separate it. Go to surface, move copy, choose this one. Move it up like this. Click OK. Now right click here, hide this one, right click again and hide. So now we just have the cavity. 
we can move the core pins as well. Go to surface, move copy, choose the core pins, and move it a little up, like so. Click OK. So that looks good, and we can see we have some draft angle here, and we have a side core here, so that's good. I hope you liked the tutorial. Bye.